Hi everyone, so today I'm with Gary of Saw Studios, which is a tailor based here in Eric Street. So Gary, why don't you tell us a bit of what you do over here at Saw Studios? Okay, um, well over here, um, when clients come to me, when they want to uh, tailor, for example, a suit. So normally what we do is uh, we'll ask them what is the suit all about. Uh, whether is it for work, whether is it for weddings, or if it's just their first suit, they want it to be very uh, easy to mix and match or versatile. So one of the main points that we focus here uh, apart from tailoring, is an uh, image consultation okay, as well. Interesting. Yeah. Because if you work on the streets, right, uh, no two guys are the same. Uh, we talk about height, we talk about body proportions, we talk about skin tone, and we talk about level of contrast. All these are all different. That's only on the external. But what about the internal? For example, that I may like flowers, you may not. Okay, mm -hmm. that's one aspect. So normally, uh, once we know what is the suit being used for, we will also ask the uh, client what is the impression that he want to portray. Okay. Does he just want to blend in or does he want to stand out? Yeah. So once we cover all this, then we'll look at uh, what I was sharing with you just now about the individual, about his uh, DNA and body profile. Once that is covered, then only we'll bring out the uh, swatch books and I will recommend him uh, colors, uh, the shapes of the colors as well as the design that is suitable for him, or should I say that will work well for him. Ah, I see. Mm. That's very interesting. So not only do you tailor the clothes to the person's measurement, but you tailor the advice to the individual as well. Correct. Uh, I'm just very curious. So you mentioned earlier that oh, you're very passionate about helping men dress well. How did you get started, you know, starting Soft Studios? Where do you, how did you find this passion? Okay, um, I would say that I was studying fashion uh, locally. Um, during that time, I, I was a biker. So black, navy and grey are colours which are suitable for me. So I had the mindset that I'm a designer, I can wear what I want. So I did that. Uh, after that, when I went to the working world, I wore black. Uh, I was working with uh, the mature crowd. Now, if you know locally in Singapore, the mature crowd, they don't really like the colour black. Mm. And I don't smile a lot. So when, so when someone sees me wearing black, and I don't smile, how is it that going to be a positive first impression? Right. Then how are you going to foster a, a, a working relationship with a stranger or with your new team that you're going to work? When I go for dates, I, I wear black. Black might be okay, but then ladies will always prefer a little bit of colors. And for black, if, he, if it's worn too much, it looks very faded. Mm -hmm. Now if your, clothes, if your clothes look faded, when you go for dates, how is that of an impression? It could be bad, it could be good, but why don't take a safer zone or a safer option? Yeah. So being through that, um, I, I'm, I'm just thinking that you know, uh, since I'm here, I could actually help my guys, my clients to prevent them from you know, going through what I have experienced before. Oh, that's really, so you actually went on this style transformation yes. yourself and through that, through all the things that you have learned, you decided to impart them to, to helping you know, other men and your clients basically. So instead of just doing a tailoring service, I also added like added a uh, service value to my clients as well. Because clothes represent different kind of feelings. Mm. So sometimes clients might not know that if I wear certain kind of clothes, how is the feeling going to project when other people look at it? Right. So that's why every time there's a lot of communication, a lot of discussion, uh, in a way that I'm actually providing a what we call a, a bespoke service. Yeah, I think that's really like something that separates you and Saw Studios as compared to some of the other tailors out there in terms of your service and the image consultation advice that you give. Do you have any interesting stories to share about your clients or why is it so important for us men to dress well? Okay, um, because in, if, you, if you go to, uh, for example, a country like Italy, everyone dress well. Then in, in Singapore, there is an upcoming market as well as uh, impression that people would want to stand out. But sometimes you don't want to stand out uh, in the uh, not too ideal way. I see. We just want to stand out, you know, just to have that positive first impression. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not an elegant way. Mm, correct. And also sometimes if we don't stand out, how can people take notice of you? Right. Uh, so I normally share with my clients that the humans uh, have uh, five cents. Then when someone sees you 20 meters away, the first point of contact is actually sight. 
Uh, yeah. So if you dress well, uh, neat and smart, uh, have a very first positive impression, when you walk towards someone, that someone is looking at you and automatically the mind actually forms a very good impression about you. So I would usually say that, you know, dressing and psychology, they kind of like go hand in hand. So all these things that, you know, we are unaware. So I just have that interest and passion to help guys to dress up. Yeah, so that's why over here in my, my cozy studio, a clients will come in here, feel comfortable, and they'll tell me, they'll share with me what are their, their difficulties. Because I need to know what they need to overcome and what are their problems to prevent them or rather that hinder them for them to dressing up. Uh, so a lot of it I think is about confidence as well. So if you dress up well, your clients are the confidence, whether it for a first date, whether it's for a work interview, or whether it's even for prom. I think you have quite a few young clients oh, yes, yes, as well. Are. Yeah, because um, when as kids, when we grow up, there's a lot of maybe a uh, stereo mindset or maybe certain impression. For example, like belt. Uh, if we wear the pants that's custom made, we actually don't need the belt. Mm. But because when we grow up, we see uh, our fathers, the uncles, the men in the street wearing belt, we assume that they need to have a belt, which may not be true. Yeah. So certain things, uh, dressing, there's no wrong or right. But my, my uh, passion, is, or rather my job is to tell you what is the use of it, what's the pros, what's the cons. So you, you can wear a pants without the belt. If the pants doesn't drop and the pants right. is custom made for you. But of course, people will ask you things like, you know, where's your belt? Why are you, are you not wearing your belt? So all this, I need to so-called to uh, facilitate all this uh, information to get you prepared if you're going to try something new. I think I heard from some of your other clients, you even help them go shopping for aesthetics or haircuts. It's really this entire package of the look they are aiming to curate. Correct. Um, I, I could share one example with you. I have a client, he is... Um, he just started a, a, a new new job. Mm -hmm. So I have helped him with his uh, suit and shirt. Then I also helped him to pair his jacket and different colored pants. Now we have the thinking that jacket and pants must go together. Uh, that's true for formal occasions. But sometimes if you are going out for a night style or for an event, you want to have that street style or smart casual, you can wear a different colored uh, pants. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I don't do shoes like sneakers and neither do I do specs. So usually what clients do is that uh, they could take a picture, then they could send a WhatsApp me, then I can advise them if this is suitable for them or not. So it's not just their tailor, you're a personal fashion advisor. Correct, yeah. So, so I can't help but notice, you know, it's a very beautiful geisha at the back. So you, I notice that you play around with a lot of patterns, with the back of your vest, with you know, your trimmings on your sleeves, even your mask as well. All these patterns are very unique, I think, to soul suits that I haven't really seen elsewhere. So we can talk a bit about that, how you play around with patterns for the trimmings and more striking designs. So for me, I guess it has to do with my uh, heritage mm -hmm. because uh, I come from a uh, Buanakan family. Oh, okay. Yeah. And for us Buanakans, we use a lot of flowers, we use a lot of pastel-like colors. So for me, it's really kind of like inbuilt in me. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually using this for myself as well for my clients or so. So um, flowers-wise, we have uh, different types. Uh, we have the small, we have the big ones. So normally how I pair with like, if it's for work, I use flowers which have very soft pastel-like colors and not too loud. Oh, so it's actually a difference. Again, you incorporate the client's needs in terms of your choice of patterns. Yeah. So imagine if you're a banker, you want to wear a shirt uh, that has a little bit of detailing. So I could do geometric for you or I can do flowers. But mm. the flowers would have to be very subtle. Imagine if the flowers is very loud. And the club and the colors are very strong. When you meet a client, would they trust you with their money? Right. Unless the client is very young, but if you're going to meet a mature one, so it's a very what we call a case by case basis. I see. That's why um, I need to ask the clients a lot of questions so that I know the direction I'm going for. Right. So if it's a shirt for an event, night time, night time we have a lot of yellow light, so the uh, trims itself can be a little bit more interesting and can have a little bit of a sheen because sheen will you know, kind of like shine out in, in, in the night itself oh, I see, I see. Yeah. then for my vest back panels uh, I do sourcing from uh, either through the help of my friends or my regular fabric suppliers where they bring in fabrics um, not too much but just on a small quantity so that every time I have something different for all, all my clients oh, I see. that's very interesting again I think it's very interesting how you know 
you cater your style and advice, even the patterns that you use to the your clients' needs, what the image your clients want to represent. So even though some of your clients may not necessarily walk in your door knowing exactly what they want, mm. but they know what they need and you Correct. just help them find what is the look that they are looking for. And every time when they do something, I will try to you know push that uh, their tolerance level to accept something new. Uh, so you just uh, push them a bit outside their comfort zone in terms so of their styling as well. So that when they try something new, when people look at them, they get the positive feedback. Uh, it makes them look, it makes them feel happier and look, you know, uh, one level higher from where they were. Uh, of course, sometimes you know there will be some doubts and everything, but you know my WhatsApp is always there. You can always uh, check that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, before we end off, do you have anything else that you want to share? Any lasting points? Uh, for me, it's that um, you know, Singapore is now uh, growing in terms of uh, custom tailoring. Always uh, try something different, but always keep it classic. Uh, the reason why I would say classic is because classic is something that you can keep and wear for a very long time. Uh, not to say that I'm against trend, but for me, is that if I do something with trend, it might end too fast and I can't wear that, that particular shirt or pants again. Yeah. So your last thing, your parting advice is to go with something classic. Classic, keep but, it, uh, yeah, keep it sophisticated classic. as well. Yes. Okay, so if you want to know more about Gary and Sauce you can always drop by their lovely shroom at Arab Street. The address will be in the description box below. And yeah, it was great, well, great chatting with you. I always learn something new when I come back. Oh, pleasure. Yeah. So, can't wait to come back the next time.